Welcome to Orbital Shift, an easy-to-use online workforce management application that streamlines the process of creating and maintaining employee schedules while enhancing staff communication and awareness. Because Orbital Shift is a web-based application, you can gain access anywhere you have an internet connection and a web browser. This means you can access Orbital Shift on any computer or mobile device from home, work, school, library, coffee shop, virtually anywhere. Being web-based also means there's no software to download or upgrade. Beyond easy accessibility for employees and managers, Orbital Shift looks to provide value to businesses in three core areas of labor management. The first is simplifying the process of creating and maintaining employee schedules. Second, helping to control labor costs through forecasts, budgets, and alerts. And the third area of value is enhancing staff communication and awareness utilizing email, text messaging, a message board, and an automated messaging service. Let's take an up-close look at some of the core value points that Orbital Shift has to offer. To begin creating and maintaining employee schedules, we must first log in. From the home page, we select the sign-in button located in the upper right. Next, we enter our username and password. If we want to view the mobile schedule, we can do so here. And if I'm logging in on a mobile device, this may be selected for me already. I'm going to choose Full Site and then select Login. Once inside the application, I notice the calendar on the left. This allows me to take the schedule forward or back in time. If I select the week of June 10th, the schedule changes to reflect the week I selected. Over on the right are several boxes, which we call events. And we color code events so we can gain information at a glance. The green color bands are shifts, denoting when an employee works. The gray color bands are unavailables. An example of an unavailable event might be an employee's school schedule, or when an employee cannot work. The gold color band is a vacation, and the red color bands are covers. A cover event is a shift an employee is trying to get covered by another employee. There are also three statuses that work in conjunction with these event types. Events with red text highlight requests. It is important to note that your base level user of employee can log in and view their schedule, see who they are working with, and then they can make requests. They can't approve anything, but they can make requests. When an employee makes a request, it turns the text red and makes an entry in the request panel over on the left. The request panel allows managers to view in one central location any open or outstanding requests. When managers approve requests, the event text color changes to black. Or if a manager denies a request, the text color changes to gray. This event type and status is a shift request denied. If I hover over an event with my mouse pointer, a window appears letting me see more information. Here I can see the gray color band stands for an unavailable, and the red text stands for a request. This event is an unavailable request. I can also see who created this event and at what time, and if someone comes in and edits afterwards, who was that and when did that occur? To create an event, I simply click on an empty cell and fill out the parameters of the event I look to create. Here, if I change the job code, the listing of employees change to reflect who's approved to work this position. I can also edit an event by selecting an event and changing its parameters. All of these events are also very graphical in nature. If I want to reassign the event I have for Daniel on Monday to Katie, I simply drag the event to Katie and all the hours assigned update for me automatically. Also, if one or more events overlap in time with a shift approved event, the background color changes to yellow, alerting me to the potential of a conflict. Here I can simply assign the event to another employee to alleviate the conflict before it occurs. I can also configure various views of the schedule depending on what I've been assigned to manage. For example, if I manage more than one location, I can change the location drop-down list. Or, if I manage other departments, simply change that drop-down list to view other schedules. 
If I want to filter some of the schedule information, I select the filter panel on the left. Currently on the schedule, I'm viewing all event types and statuses, but maybe I just want to see when employees work. If I filter to the work schedule and select update, all unavailable and vacation events are removed, as well as anyone who doesn't work this week. Here I still see cover requests, as those are shifts an employee is still assigned to work until a manager approves for the shift to be transferred. I can also change from viewing a particular week to viewing a specific day. Under day view, with the work filter still applied, not only are employees removed who do not work on this day, employees are sorted in the order their shift starts, so you always get this nice stair-step effect. This view is great for seeing coverage, and a lot of cost savings is reported from the simple analysis of this view. Maybe it is a point of contention why five employees are overlapped for this half hour. Is there a revenue reason or a customer reason? If not, I can simply evaluate adjusting one or more events and see how that impacts the efficiency and cost of my labor schedule. There is also a template page to assist with creating and maintaining employee schedules. From this page, I can template out my core staffing needs from week to week. I can easily create templates for a particular position, when the shift should start and end, and which days of the week I need it on. I can also make templates active or inactive based on seasonality. With these core staffing needs now created, I can use them to help create employee schedules. First, I make sure the filter panel is configured so I can view all my employee options. Next, I select a future week where I don't have a schedule completed as of yet. Now on the schedule, automatically blocking out space, I see unavailable and vacation events, helping remind me of any time off requests that have already been made. Below on the left, I can select the template panel to view my staffing needs. By simply dragging and dropping templates onto days employees are available to work, the templates create shift approved events for me. As new shift events are created, they're removed from the list on the left. If I change my mind and delete a shift, not only is it removed from the schedule, it's placed back on the list for me. So if I'm a person who creates schedules, I clearly know what I have to assign. If I get distracted while in the creation process and have to leave and come back to the schedule later, I know right where I left off. And finally, in helping to streamline the process of creating and maintaining employee schedules, there's copy and paste. You can select any day or week, filter to any position or department, and simply copy and paste from one schedule to the next. 